What's up guys? Kevin Rogers, owner, operator, and professional window tinner in On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video about the plotter blades, doll blade, new blade, what to expect when the blade starts to doll, how to identify it, um, how to tell the difference if it's the cut strip or if it's the blade. So we're gonna go over to my machine. I've got a doll blade and a brand new blade and we're gonna look at both and what they do. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is the Workhorse 2 from PlotterDepot.com. Got a 40 inch roll put in here, which is my standard film. It's a 1.5 ply dyed film, uh, which most of the film I use besides my Ceramic Extreme from TintDepot.com is the Ceramics 2 mil. This is a 1.5. But I've got a doll blade installed in the machine and I've got a brand new blade. Um, this is a blade that I just changed to the new blade, but I wanna show you what starts to happen. Uh, actually, this one's a little bit more doll than normal, but I've got my force set up to 66. We know the test function here, or should know the test function, function here. Prints a one inch square with a triangle in the middle. Um, so we're gonna just do a couple of test cuts. Up at 66, that's when I start to know that my blade is, is getting wore out, it's starting to dull. If I'm bumping those 70s, I just change the blade and get a new one. It brought, drops me back down to the lower 50s, really. But let's take a look. So I'm gonna hit the test button. I've already done a couple. See how it grabbed, it's, it's it kind of pierces through the film, so watch the height of your blade. But we'll roll that out, take a look at it, see if we can peel it. We were able to actually peel that, and we're at 66. And you notice I have tape on my cut strip. It's actually outside painter's tape, and then it's a piece of Gorilla Tape over top of it. Try it out, see how you like it. Uh, so let's set it on this side. Let's hit test again. It's still piercing the film and I don't like that. It's piercing through, so it's still peelable, but it's high, it's grabbing the film, it's not, it's not a smooth cut, and you can actually hear it dragging on the film. So that is all right off the bat an indication that it's not a very good blade. So I'm gonna reset this and show you another option to test the difference between your cutting strip and the blade. So we're gonna set it right here, and I'm gonna show you something that's kind of an overlooked or not looked at feature on film cut, and most of the software has the ability to do it. Uh, but let's go to film cut, and let me show you a way that you can cut a simple strip across the machine, which will really help you gauge if your cut strip's good or bad. So let's get to the computer. Okay guys, so check this out. We've got film cut open. If you're using film cut, you're gonna be very familiar with this. Mine opens to the nesting screen. What we're gonna look at is this calibrate button here. I don't know if anybody's played with it or not, but it does a pretty cool thing. Instead of cutting one little one inch square, we can actually cut something along the entire length of the machine. So I've got a 40 inch roll installed and I'm gonna select 38 and then I'm gonna click cut and we'll go back to the machine and I'll show you what it actually cuts out. So the machine just got done cutting a strip along the entire cutting strip. And right off the rip, you can see, I didn't change my force, it's still set at 66. We were cutting squares and it really wasn't cutting through the liner. And right here, it pierced through the liner. So we'll go to this end, I'm gonna check this. Same thing, it pierced through the liner on that side as well. And it's tough to peel. So that to me tells me that this blade is just getting wore out, it's not very good, it's piercing through when it starts the cut, uh, and it's just not doing very well. Had this have peeled and then ripped somewhere over here, I might start looking at the cut strip. But this pierced through on start, rounded the corner, pierced through on stop. So that's telling me my blade's not in very good shape. It's not cutting all the way through as it glides across the entire thing. The other thing to look at, to know it's not my strip is it's evenly not cutting all the way across. If it was cutting a little, not a little, that tells me there would be a void somewhere in the cut strip. So something to think about, but that's, that's a bad blade. Let's switch over to the other blade and see how much better it can be. So I don't have to change anything. I'm just gonna push on the button on the back, pull my blade out. Make sure my new blade is clean. We're gonna drop that in. And carefully, don't tap the blade against anything when you're installing the blade holder. 
I'm gonna drop that back into my machine. I'll tighten it up. Whenever you put in a new blade, drop your force down way low and come up slowly so you don't cut through the material. The minute you cut through the material, obviously like I did, my cut strip's gonna have a void somewhere in this area. Sometimes it's, you get lucky and it doesn't really hurt the strip if it only cuts through just a tad bit. I know this was from grabbing, so chances are my cut strip's gonna be okay. We're gonna drop this way back down. I already know what it's supposed to be set at, but I'm gonna start mine at like say, I would start in the 40s, honestly. I would start down around 42. But I've already set this blade, so let's pretend I went through 42 and all the rest. We're up here at 50, now we'll drop it to 48. So I'm gonna start off with the little squares and we'll see how 48 does. So test, it's not grabbing, sounds smoother. I don't hear it dragging on the film. Let's push that out, take a look. A little bit, little bit, almost, but not enough. It's still left a little, so let's reset. Move a little to the left, hit enter. We'll go up one notch, now I'm at 51. Hit enter, let's hit test. It's sounded a little better, let's take a look. That peeled much, much better. Still kinda hanging up just a little bit, but not bad, so. I'm gonna bump it up one more. Let's reset. I'm going to move to the left a little, hit enter, go up four, so now I'm at 54 grams. We'll hit enter, we'll hit test. You wanna hit that sweet spot that it just peels real nice. I'm feeling on the back of the film to make sure it's not cutting through and that came off like butter. So I'm going to that. And then I'm gonna move back to the right so that I don't leave the film when I cut my strip. And I'm gonna go hit that cut button again and I'm gonna cut out another long strip. So now we've got the long strip cutting. It sounds better. I don't hear it dragging along the film. Hopefully my cut strip's okay after that. We're not cut through on this side. We're not cut through on that side. Now let's peel it. And we'll start at one end. There's always a little hang up somewhere, guys. It's never just 100% perfect, but that was literally just a tiny little dot. I'm happy with that. So I could even try to adjust it just a tad bit more to watch for this over here. But other than that, that's a pretty clean cut. So that's it. So a doll blade is going to start speaking to you when you're pushing your force up, you're, you, you put more down pressure on it, you're piercing the film in, in certain areas, you're getting weird cuts from it. The first thing I would do is, is change your blade, especially if your force is getting really high, and then do that strip cut. Um, it's available in the film cut software as I showed you. I have played with other software and I haven't found one that doesn't have some kind of test function or feature that you can use. So be sure to use that from time to time. I actually cut that strip out once a week, every Monday to make sure that my machine's ready to go. I've got a nice clean peel. If I need to make any adjustments, I can make them then. It gets me through the week. So that's pretty much it. Plotters and software from plotterdepot.com. Film and tools from tintdepot.com. Again, I'm Kevin Rogers with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. If you need any help, reach out to them reach out to me. We're all happy to help. Thanks for watching.